Hey guys, this is Smith City, the Smith City Product Reviews. I'm back, having dinner, doing a burger review at Dragon Chicken and Burger place in Baronia. And I'm doing their Dragon Special Burger. So it came with a Sunkist. Product placement there. Came with some chips with some dusting. I don't know exactly what the dusting is, but As you can see, if I bring it closer, you don't really see much salt flakes in there. So whatever seasoning they've got in there has got a little bit of salt in it. But it's almost like a Paprika, almost like a smoky paprika type dusting on it. It's quite nice. Isn't overly salty at all. I think if they had have just chucked salt on this as well as the seasoning, it would have been game over. So I put that down there. Just cleanse the palate. And then look at this. <laughs> look at this. Look at the size. Look at the size of that. Kind of looks like the little uh the little spaceship thing in Willy Wonka where they fly off into the sky. But this is what it looks like. I'm just going to pull that little. This is the first time I'm seeing it. So first time you're seeing it, I'm seeing it. I'm trying to open this without making an absolute debacle. Got a nice little pickle on top. Normally if I have like Maccas or Hungry Jacks and they got pickles in it, I actually like to eat the pickles separate from the burger. So I take them off and eat them. Just comment what you guys do with how you eat your burgers. Nice little healthy salad. Healthy lettuce leaf there. Oh, this looks... I don't even know how to even tackle this. Can't even get under it. Hold on a sec. I'm really gonna try to get get the best. <laughs> Look at that monstrosity. It looks diabolical. I'll probably keep this under me, I think. So, I'll try to pull it apart as best I can. It's got an onion ring there, some special sauce they've got, and then they've got the crispy chicken. I've got a beef patty there. They've got pickles under it, melted cheese. And we'll just <clears throat> bit of spice hit me the wrong way. Just I'll just try to do it.
haven't got any of the chicken yet. We've got the bottom bun, bit of the beef, bit of the cheese. Oop, a bit on the floor there for later. That's what the chicken looks like as more drop, more stuff drops on the floor. That pickle is cutting through the greasiness of the cheese and the beef. No napkins. Here's a tea, tea towel I prepared earlier. So dragon, chicken and burger. What would I rate this chicken burger? I'll just the burger itself is twenty dollars. I'm not too sure what it came with with the chips and the coke and and delivery. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say the potato that I've used with the chips is really that good. But they're a nice thickness. It's sort of the texture of like a fish and chip shop chip. But that seasoning they've got on it is absolutely a ripper. I won't have any more of the any more of the burger. It's too messy to keep eating it on camera without putting heaps on the floor. So price point, do I think it's worth it? <sighs> These styles of burgers at diff different burger places that are like outside of your normal chains of like McDonald's, Hungry Jack's. KFC was sort of generally around this ballpark. Now, over a period of years, I've had stuff from On It Burger and different burger places sort of around the area that is very similar in price and I think for what it's marketed it as, it does a really good job. It fits the brief. Have I had other chicken burgers at different establishments around the same price price point that are, that are better? Probably have. But talking from sort of a like an overall standpoint with the fries as well. I've got to factor that in. I've really got to factor that in. Because these, 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 these chips, despite the fact that they're being 
sort of like a sort of been like a fish and chip shop type style chip uh, the seasoning like it it, it is it's so good it is really really good um there has to be some smoked paprika in there for sure um wouldn't say it's like overly spicy so I don't think there's like any chili in there or anything, anything like that but it's 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 pretty rocking. That seasoning, whatever they use, is pretty good. It's almost like a... Let me just go back in. Sort of like a cross between a smoked paprika dusting and a Szechuan pepper dusting. But it just doesn't have that lingering residual heat that Szechuan pepper does but it's like almost there so I reckon they've used some of that in there but they're probably like the ratios of it is skewed more towards the paprika side of things so it sort of is leaning more towards the paprika than it is the Szechuan so anyway Do I think it's sort of worth the price point? I wouldn't say it's worth any more. It could, it could be a little bit cheaper for for what it is, because like I'll just bring this back up and you can sort of just see how sort of greasy sort of monstrosity that is. Where I've had similar Similar chicken burgers that aren't aren't as greasy as this, um, but I, I think it's to do with the probably the fat content in the beef, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. That just creates flavour. The bacon, the cheese, and then the greasy chicken. So all that combined is sort of making that burger glisten in a very unhealthy fashion. So. I think it's I think it's worth the price point in terms of the flavor and everything that's going on, and I'm probably going to give this all up, all up. I'm going to give it an eight. If I was to judge the the chips alone, I'd probably give the chips a nine because they're pretty good. They're really really good. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. I'm going to finish this burger off, get some water down. Take my old man juice of Gav's gone and some probiotic mouthwash and all the rest of it and I'm going to retire for the evening. See you guys.